What's up and welcome back guys. Today we're going for a ride in a 1966 Chevelle. This one's got a 283 up under the hood. We'll be taking it down the road, pointing out any flaws, so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Um, so far this one has got power steering. I don't believe power brakes on it though. Drum, front and rear. It does need a paint job. The paint is very flat on this one and cracking. Dual exhaust out the back. Check out maplemotors.com. We have financing, we have shipping available. We also have 100 detailed pictures of this car and every car on the lot. So hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. As of right now, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, gonna look around the interior, kind of check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play here on the channel. Coming across the dash. Not in bad shape up there. The seat in here does have some rips and stuff. We'll be going over that towards the end of the video. Uh, headliner, same thing. A few rips. There's a hole there and in the back there. Checking out your package tray. Back seat's in decent shape. It doesn't look bad at all. I'll go ahead and start her up here. You ready? Starts up pretty easy. Definitely gonna get some gas. The dash up here looks like the paint's kind of chipping off of it. Let's try the radio out. Blower motor's working. Radio is not cutting on, so it's not working. Wipers. Work. Third signals. Popping up on the dash on both sides. Showing 81,000 miles. It's hard to stand behind that in a 1966 model. But what about the horn? Did you place your bets? Let's hit it. It is not honking. Not hooked up probably a good reason there all right let's hit the road see how she runs and drives all right got my seat belt on let's see if i can stop the wipers in a better spot a little lower a little lower come on there we go all right i gotta make a run up to the park store here for a personal ride but while we're doing that i'll be checking this car out on the way Anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I do these videos. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. When I let go of the steering wheel, it does have a left pull, pulling to the left. manual brakes they feel like they should kick down is hooked up just had to hit that sweet spot so the kick down is hooked up on this one the uh, turn signal switch is a little bit loose but it's still working Steering's pretty smooth on it. We are gonna pull in here and go ahead and get $20 worth of fuel. And we'll check that gas gauge. Right now the gas gauge is almost dead on E. So all these cars come in on uh, shipping trucks most of the time. 
and they can't have them over a quarter tank. I think they just suck it all out. So that's probably why all of our cars need gas. <laughs> they don't after I get done with them. Let's put some fuel in it. Okay, I put a uh, over twenty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride, and now we're gonna check that gas gauge out. I noticed the nozzle on the uh, gas tank back here is kind of deep behind the tag. See, it's way up in there. It almost needs to be extended, which is an easy fix. Coming up here, let's check this gauge. As you can see, the seat does have some rips in it. We'll be going over that towards the end. And something I forgot to mention, we got an old pressure gauge down here. And it was hooked up, looked to be around 40. Gas gauge, turn the key. She's on her way up so that looks like it's working. Good deal. Let's hit the road. We'll get some undercarriage shots and uh, drop by this camera a few times. Okay, so far so good. Got you on the wide screen. Let's head on back to the lot. As soon as we get back, we'll be pointing out the flaws. Uh, looking at the paint job, looking for rust, bondo, dents, scratches, anything I can find. That way you know the rest about this ride. Still a little bit far behind this week, so we're not taking the really long routes around. We're just going ahead and getting these done and heading back to the lot, checking everything out. So. Still pulling to the left on me. The suspension on this one is actually quite smooth. Motor's got good response. Sounds pretty good too.
back at the lot now. I'm gonna be picking out the flaws. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Also check out the finance options and shipping we have available for you. We always try to pick out the flaws. That way you know what you're getting. We'll go ahead and get started here. If you like the uh, shirts and stuff, check it out on the merchandise at maplemotors.com or here on YouTube on the shop. I'll see you here in a moment. Okay, guys, what we're going to do now is walk around this car, point out chips, scratches, rust, anything I can find so you know exactly what you're getting. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. That way you don't miss anything. And let's get started here. We're going to go down the lower portions first, come up the midsection, end on the interior with it running. All right, coming around the front, you can see front bumper's got a ton of pitting. There's some dents right here on the inner portion. Got a little bit of rust popping up right there on your headlights. You got some uh, overspray right there on your trim. This paint job needs to be redone. It's flat, it's scratched up. There's paint chipping, look at the roof. So what we're gonna do here is just look for major dents and rust. I'm not gonna worry about all the chips and scratches unless they're deep and that's a dent. That would be considered a dent, right? <laughs> So coming up over, it actually looks like the trim's in pretty good shape. You do got a bubble popping up here at the bottom, and you got some more bubbles there, which is probably going to be rust. Coming on down, you got some bubbles in the corner of the door there. Looks like a little ding right here to the back. Back to midsection. A whole lot of chips. That was another reason. There's chips all over this thing. Very flat on the paint. Well, there being so many chips, it's little rust. Most of the time, these will chip up and rust will appear instantly. The trim's not too bad around the windshield. A little scuffed up. You got a big spot in the paint right there. You've got uh, the weather stripping around the vent window cracking. The mirror looks pretty good. Looks like it's been replaced. Your door handle's got pitting popping up on it. We're gonna get to the trunk here in just a moment. Let's look around. You got a dent right up here on top. As you can see, it's like a crease here and here. I circled it. <laughs> you see all the paint kind of chipping up, falling off there. Weather stripping in the trunk is eh, a little bit older. It's still soft. You can see some chipping in your jams. got some paint splattered up right there on the trunk overspray the trunk itself definitely been sprayed and painted but it looks pretty solid I mean overall you do got a spot popping up right here definitely tell they've done a little bit of work there package tray decent Coming on down with the trunk lid now. Shuts pretty good. Back bumper, definitely got some pitting popping up. A little bubble popping up in the corner. Rust. 
rust in the corner here. Coming down this side, we're gonna go down the lower portion. So looking for the same thing, dents and rust. Got a nice little scratch there. May have an indention. Definitely got some scratches right up in here. Corner of that door there is a slight bubble. You got a dent at the bottom of the door. You got bubbles at the corner of the door. Definitely got some chips. Lots of chips here. See like the sand and mark, scratch mark. They probably tried to wash it. It might have been real dirty. Wash it with something abrasive. You got some cracking going on down through here. Pitting on the door handle. Some cracks. You got some pitting on your trim here. It's cracking going on there. Went down the top of the fender. Let's go ahead and check the interior out now. You can see around the windshields, I mean, around the windows, uh, the weather strip in there is dried out. It needs to be replaced pretty much all the way around this one. You got a little bit of pitting around your vent window, too. Door panel itself, carpet's hanging a little bit. Got some wear on the handle. Weather stripping, it's falling apart, it needs to be replaced. Bottom of the door there, you got some little chips, a little bit of rust. Stink bug. <laughs> Jams. Carpet in this one's a bit older, but got some wear spots there by the gas pedal. The seat ripped up. And you got some wear right here. Looking around the back seat. Package tray. Headliner, it's got some wear spots over on the uh, passenger side. Driver's side's a lot better. Jumping off in here. Starts up easy. Motor's quiet. Look it up under the hood. Edges are solid. Coming on down with it. Some cracks going on there. Got a little spot in the corner here. Let's 
spot in this corner here too. Guys, oh, we got a few little things coming on right here below the trim. You see the bubbles popping up in the bottom of the windshield? All right, I do appreciate you watching. Please hit subscribe and share this channel. It helps me out quite a bit. I've got some more cars I'm gonna get to today. I know tomorrow I should be all caught up and then I'll work on next week's inventory. Check out maplemotors.com. Every Monday I update with about 10 new cars. We have financing, we have shipping available. And I do appreciate you watching. Check out the merchandise at maplemotors.com as well. You can get some t-shirts. Uh, we've got three different designs right now. And we're probably gonna have some more coming out this year before Christmas, so. All right, let's go pick out another ride and do some more test drives. See you later, guys.